Hello and welcome to Wednesday's edition of Cracking the Cryptic. I almost forgot what day it was then. Um, on another absolutely appalling day here in the UK, where the, the wind and the rain are pelting down outside. But we are going to try and cheer ourselves up with a new variant Sudoku. This one is called Filarenban and it's by SSG, a constructor I admire hugely. I've done loads of SSG puzzles before. They've always been brilliant. I have skim read the rules of this one and they seem, well, they're very original and they do combine two rule sets with which I'm very familiar, but I have never seen a puzzle that combines these two rule sets before. Um, so um, I'm looking forward to having a go at this. I did look it up on Logic Masters Germany to see if I could get a, a brief insight into how difficult it was. And I think I've concluded it's hard because this has only been sold 10 times, um, which is not a lot for uh, somebody like SSG. SSG's puzzles will have been attempted a lot, but the fact that only 10 people have succeeded is worrying, but the comments have been fulsome in their praise. And indeed, we've had a couple of recommendations that said we really must try this one. So that is what we're going to do. Um, and I will read you the rules in a moment or two's time. Now, what have I got to tell you about today? For well, firstly, let me let me begin by saying yesterday was the 1st of August and that meant it was Patreon Reward Day. We released a brand new Sudoku hunt called uh, Tennis Anyone, um, which is, uh, well, substantially the, the work of Glum Hippo, everyone's favourite uh, river horse. Um, and it contains a number of puzzles in that Sudoku hunt, some, some more difficult than others, all very cool. Um, and I, I need to congratulate Tim Dore, who sent in the first correct entry, I will say, just over an hour after we released the hunt. So the hunt came out at four o'clock yesterday afternoon, and at just past five o'clock, Tim's entry arrived with the correct answer. And that is amazing. That is amazing. I tested some of the puzzles, and I can tell you I would have got nowhere near that time. That is, I mean, it's phenomenal solving. So well done to Tim. Um, you're... you're I mean, more more entries did come in, but they were substan They took substantially more time than you. Um, and of course, at the end of the um, at the end of the competition, which runs till the twentieth of August, we'll be running a roll of honour, uh, listing all those of you who managed to who managed to send in a correct entry. Comments so far are great, though, so do 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 have a go at it. And if you do get stuck, remember, over on the Discord server, there is a special channel for our patrons um, where let's say hints and tips can be shared um so you may find you may find some nice folk over there who can who can give you a hand if you do get stuck um now anything else to do mention yes i've got to, i've got i've got two birth well i've got two announcements to do today i'm going to start off i have i've left recording this video as late as i possibly could and say you know with safety in mind in terms of being able to get the video done because i had an email uh, just today from Alex, who asked me to shout out um, his sister, because it's his sister's birthday. She turns 14 today. But Alex, you didn't tell me your sister's name. So I did email you back and ask for her name, but you, you haven't replied yet. So uh, I think Alex's sister might be in the Queensland area. That's a total guess based off Alex's email address. Um, so that I could be completely wrong about that. And I don't really want to guess the name, but Alex's sister, many happy returns. I gather you tend to watch the videos when you return home from school together. So uh, if that's right, you will be able to glare at your brother now and ask him why he did not reveal your name. But I, I hope you have a lot, lot of chocolate cake. Um, and, I, and I think, frankly, Alex should be making you that chocolate cake to say sorry. <laughs> now, the other announcement is to Shem and Amy, whose 21st wedding anniversary this is today. So many congratulations to you. We had an email from Amy about this, uh, Shem, and she described you as the love of her life. So um, obviously, 21 years together, uh, that is much, there's much to be admired there and we wish you, we wish you all the best. I think an anniversary is definitely an excuse, excuse, yeah, an excuse for cake as well. Now, let's turn our attention to actually solving in this video. I will reposition my keyboard into the optimum position. I have the correct glasses on. I have no excuses left to give. Let me read you the rules to fill a Renban. And let's see what SSG has in store for us. These are the rules. Normal Sudoku rules apply. 
Philomeno. Divide the grid into regions along grid lines such that no two regions of the same size share an edge. Cells divided by a green wall are in different regions. OK, so there is a green wall there and a green wall here. So these two cells are in different regions. Given digits specify the size of the region in which they appear. So this is in a region of size 6, that's in a region of size 3, etc. Um, OK, and no two regions of the same size can share an edge right. OK, that's well, that's normal phenomena. I'm just sort of I'm just sort of assimilating the rules. I'm also noticing that this must be. Have I had a puzzle with this many given digits in it ever on the channel that wasn't a classic Sudoku? There can't have been many. There cannot have been many. Each region must include a digit equal to its size. Each region must include a digit equal to its size. OK, sorry, uh, the reason I was just pausing then is I was thinking, well, if if this is in a region of size six, it will include a digit. It will. OK, so I suppose what that's telling us is that there are regions in the puzzle that are not. You know, so there could be, uh, I don't know, there could be a size seven region here. And that doesn't have a given digit in it. So there are regions in the puzzle that don't correspond to the given the given regions, if you like, if we can describe them in that sense. That is what I've just understood from the instructions anyway. And there's one more rule, which is a Renban rule. So each region contains a non-repeating set of consecutive digits that may appear in any order. Right, let's have a think about what that means with this three then. So this three is telling us that it is in a region of size three. So if there was a one in this region, it would be a one, two, three region. But if there was a five in the region, it would be a three, four, five region. So it's either a one, two, three region, a two, three, four region, or a three, four, five region. Because the, the cells within this region of size three must be must contain consecutive digits or the cells. Yeah, the cells must contain consecutive digits. It's a it's a fascinating rule, isn't it? It really is. Anyway, do have a go. The way to play is to click the link under the video as usual. But now I get to play. Let's get cracking. Um, we suspect this is difficult, don't we? So there's a size nine region here. So that if in, in effect, there's an extra region of the puzzle then, isn't there? When, when I say extra region, I mean, obviously, a three by three box is going to contain the digits one to nine once each. But so does the Philomeno region that corresponds with this cell. In, in effect, that's a nine cell killer cage, isn't it? Uh, but let's think about a seven. What's a seven got in it? So the seven... It, it depends. It depends what the extra digits are. So a seven has got a... Well, it's got a lot of digits it's got to have in it, because even if it's got a one in it, which would be the least, the smallest digit it could have, it would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven in this region. If it had a nine in it, it would be nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. So it must have three, four, five, six, and obviously seven in it. But then you don't know what the last two digits are. OK, so what we what we should probably do, we can divide. Let's use the pen tool. Let me pick the right color here. I need green, don't I? So we can divide those two cells. These cannot be in the same region because it said that every given region or every every given every given digit is in a region equal to its size, didn't it? So this is in a region of size six. This is in a region of size three. So they cannot be in the same region because six and three are not the same size. Um, now, OK, this four and this four are in different regions then. Is that, that is right, is it? Well, it is right, but it was right for the wrong reason. I was thinking that each given digit was specifying its own region size. But actually, I think the way we can conclude these must be in different regions is because each region contains a set of consecutive digits 
that are none repeating. So if these two were in the same region, which they could be absent that rule, that region would not contain none repeating digits. So these two fours are in different regions and therefore, and those regions are of size four because they're given digits and they cannot touch. So we can, we can prevent these regions. So we can do that, I think. These regions, so if this four region went up here, it would be touching another four region. It's not allowed. And similarly, if that drops down there, Right, so the right, so we must be starting in the top left, is we must be starting with the six, because that cannot fit into into five cells. So this cell, let's give it a colour. Um, what colour should we give it today? Blue. This blue six has to get to there, and it has to get out. So it's got to go to there. Now this three is in a different region to the six region, so that's got to come out to here. And this four is in its own region as well. And this four is in a different region of size four. So we've immediately colored four different regions in. Ah, uh, no. Okay, I was about to say that has to be part of the blue region, but that's not true. If that was a one, couldn't it be in a region of it of size one and sit here and that blue would come down here? Oh, hang on. The six region needs to have a four in it. I've just realized because if you take, if you take, if you imagine the digits one to nine lined up in front of you and you take a slice of six digits, which is what, what a six consecutive digits, which is what this six is telling us to do. If you start with one, you, you get to six. If you start with nine, you get back down to four. So there is a four in this region, which is obviously cannot be in box. Ah, this four has to go there because it, because of my line. Look, it can't, it can't drop down here. So now this six, Right, so now this six, which ordinarily could have taken those squares, can't just take those squares because it needs to have a four in it. So it's got to come out to here at least one, two, three, four, five. OK, so it could. It could take more cells outside. Outside box. Uh, box one. But but. We have four cells of it now. And this, where is, okay, so where is the four in the blue region? That must be the sensible question. Ah, hang on, this region's done. There we go, we've done a region. We don't know what's in it, but we do know that we've done a region. Ah, I do know what's in it. I do know what's in it because where does, where is the four that belongs to this six region? And what I can see is that it's got to be somewhere in box two because it's either there, exactly there, or it's one cell away from there. Because in order to reach this cell, we're, we're, we're either taking those five or we're taking those five or we're taking those six. So we, we've only got one more cell maximum that this six can grow by from this point. So exactly one of those must be the four. In fact, now I see it, one of those must be the four. And therefore this three region, which contains a consecutive sequence does not have four in that sequence. So that's a one, two pair. That's beautiful. <laughs> this is, I like this so far. Um, now, Okay, now this is a peculiar thing to note, but I'm going to note it. I can put seven into the grid in the top row, can't I? Seven can't go in those squares, so that's a seven. Now, the, okay, so this is not a one. And if it's not a one, it must be part of a, a region that's bigger than one. So it must join blue. It can't, that cannot be in its own region on its own because it wouldn't contain its region size. That, that is a rule. Yes, e each region must can include a digit equal to its region size. So, so uh, no, that doesn't mean that this could still extend to here, I think. 
No, 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 no. Right, so now it's Sudoku. Now it's Sudoku. Where does 7 go in box 2? And the answer is in this, these two squares. Well, I can tell you 7 doesn't go in blue because it would repeat in blue and that breaks the rules of the puzzle because we know each region is a, is a Renban. So the 7 goes there, the 4 goes there, and that means we can, we can have another... Ah, hang on, hang on, hang on. What's that digit? That digit can't be part of yellow or orange, and it now can't be part of blue, because blue blue can't get here without being seven cells large, and we know it's six cells large. So this is a new region. That is a new region, and it's either a one, and it lives exactly in that square, or it's a one or a two, and it goes into a domino there. Ah! So that that's forced. This, okay, the blue region can't go into the seven. And oh no, okay, I was about to say, what's this digit? But I've just realized this could be a five, couldn't it? Yeah. Okay, but this one, yeah, nine. Where's nine in this box? Now, nine can't be in a region with a four because the size of this region is four, which means it's four, five, six, seven. Seven is the highest digit I can put in this four region. So nine, nine, which needs to be part of a consecutive sequence. I want to say nine's in the blue region. It must be, mustn't it? Why, why does that... I mean, it must be. It can't be in this region, and it can't be in the purple region, and it can't be in its own region. Because that region would have to be of size 9, and there's not enough room for it. So it does join the blue region, and it goes in one of those squares. Now, is the, I think that's the same with 8, because 8 can't go in the 4 region either. If seven is not, you know, if, if seven is the maximum digit, in fact, seven can't go. Well, seven can't be there. No, obviously, it can't be there. Oh, hang on, now I'm getting confused. So, what is this digit? Yeah, it can still be five, can't it? That's the point. So, so blue contains six, seven. No, blue has to have five in it. Where's blue's five? Yeah. Okay, th I see. Good grief. I mean, this isn't easy at all. But blue's five. I think it can be in a number of places, actually. But but fundamentally, it's either here, here, or here, isn't it? Well, I don't think it's there. Because if blues 5 was there, then by Sudoku, blue, if this was a blue 5, this would be a 5 and it would not be blue. But the only region that could join to would be purple, and that's not a consecutive sequence. And this clearly can't live in its own cell because it's not of that cell would not be of size five. So I think what we're allowed to do here is to say five is in one of these squares, which means that this has become a five eight nine triple, and all of these squares are blue. Yeah, the 6 region must have a 5 in it. That 5 can't go there. It must have the 8 and the 9 in this box in it. Yeah, so that feels right. That feels right to me. So this square is a 1, and this square by Sudoku is now a 2. And I don't know what that does. <laughs> um... 
so the, the right well the one thing it does is that the blue region is finished so we can delineate that we've got some sudoku perhaps we can do in the top row have we four four eight and nine to place let's just see if we can do anything with that that's not four because of this four no okay sorry uh no one and two have to live in these squares by sudoku Um, there's got to be a three in the orange region because it's got to have consecutive digits. It's got four and two in it, so it must have three in it. The three can't go there. Because of Sudoku. I want to say that that means orange has to come here, but I don't actually think that's true, is it? If that was five. Yeah. Uh, we need to put three into this region. It can't be this three. That's too far away. If this is not in orange. Yeah, I think this is in orange. If this is not orange, let's just make that black for a moment. Orange would come here, but this can't be a three. So we need to find a place to put the three. We know it can't go here because this isn't allowed to be in orange or it would be touching yellow. So the three would then have to go in one of those squares and neither of those can be a three by Sudoku. So actually, first instinct was right. This is orange, but this... Well, do we know what? Do we now know that this is three? No. Oh, or do we? Yes, perhaps we do. Because, well, it's options, it's total list of options. Well, the question is where does three go in orange now? Now, given that this is orange, this could be three. But if this wasn't three, then Either that cell, that cell, or that cell would have to be the orange three, and none of them can be because of Sudoku. So this is three. And that means that the other digit we're looking to put in here is one or five. Now, if it's one, no, if it's one, I was about to say something that was not right, which is that the one would have to go, well, I think it would be in one of two places. It can't go here by Sudoku, but if it's five, We don't know enough about fives. I think fives can go in a lot of places. Although I've suddenly spotted there's a five in one of those. Right, so this probably has a five here and completes. And then the seven could join up here, couldn't it? And make a seven, eight, nine triple. Although, no, it wouldn't just be a seven, eight, nine triple because one of the cells needs to be the size of the region. That is the weird thing about this puzzle. So what's this digit? We know that digit's yellow. So, so hmm. if this goes down, it can't be one or three, so it would have to be two. If it goes up, it could be as much as seven, couldn't it? So it could be five, it could be seven. Bother. <laughs> That's not five. Um, right, okay, so let's, what on earth am I meant to do now? We've got, at least we've got off to a reasonable start. Um, so this seven has to be in a region. Well, if it, if it didn't have an eight, no, oh, I see it could. Yeah, oh, there's a, it's weird. 
this is playing with my head a bit. Because it, even defining the size of the region that contains that seven, I'm realizing is not is not clear to me. That could be in a region of size four. But it can't it cannot be in a region of size three, can it? Because to be in a region of size three, it would have to that region would have to contain a three. And then three wouldn't reach it on the Renban rule because three, four, five would be. Yes, yeah, so the maximum digit you can put in a region of size three is a five. The maximum digit you can put in a region of size four is a seven. That. Well, hang on, how do you... Ah, oh, right, so... So now I'm actually, I'm actually thinking about the high digits because I've got to put... Hmm... So... So every nine in this puzzle has to be in a region. So the nine has to be Renbanable. <laughs> so, so if it was, the region couldn't be of size two, could it? Because then it would be an eight, nine pair and it wouldn't contain a two. It couldn't be of size three because nine, eight, seven doesn't contain a three. It couldn't be of size six. No, hang on. It couldn't be, no, the Renban couldn't be 987 because it doesn't contain a 3. The Renban couldn't be 9876 because that doesn't contain a 4. The Renban could be 989765 because the 5 is big enough to get to capture the 9 in a Renban. But that, so every 9 in this puzzle is attached to no, hang on, hang on. Every nine in the puzzle has a five in its Renban. I think that's true. It doesn't mean that the region size is five, but it does mean that the ren band the nine is on always includes a five because if it didn't nine eight seven six is simply not a possible combination that is absolutely bizarre so every now so yeah but this five and this nine are in different regions because they so that five has to get a nine that's not that nine i think is what we're being told here Yeah, that five can get a nine look from one of those squares. Three is in a domino down here. Um, right. Okay. I'm so sorry. I'm just pausing because I'm still I'm still a bit flummoxed by that, and I'm not sure what that means. I'm meant to do. So every nine in the puzzle, wherever there is, so the nine. Okay, so that, that's been proved in this box, hasn't it? Because the nine and the five are in the same region, but the nine in this box is going to have to join up with a remban, a five in its remban. But the weird thing is, the weird thing is that the nine could go. Sorry, I realise I've stopped speaking here. The nine could be, there could be loads of nine regions that include like nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. But hang on, the three region here then, how could that, 
How could this 3 region have a 5 on its ren band? It can't. Because if the, nine, if the 3 has a 5 on its ren band, that 5 can't join to, it, to the 9 it must join to on its ren band. So there is a There is a 2 on this 3's ren band. I don't know what to do. I can't do anything with that. I mean, the 2, well, I suppose the 2 can't be there, but the 2 could be there. Or there. There, there is a 2 on this ren band. Because there cannot be a 5. So on the 4, you can't have a 5. No. Is that true as well? If if you have a... That is true. That must be true. The four... If, the, if any four, any given four... So this is saying this is part of a Ren band of size four, or a consecutive sequence of size four. If that sequence included a 5, that 5 could not be on a sequence with a 9, which means that there's going to be a stranded 9 somewhere in the puzzle. So you can't join a 4 with a 5, which means that that digit is a 2. There we go. We've done the puzzle now. We've, we've done the puzzle because this digit can't, it, the, the ren band that the 4 is part of cannot include a 5. So it must be a 1, it's, it's a 1, 2, 3, 4 ren band. In fact, where is the 1 on this ren band now? This, the, ah, this is so pretty. This is so clever. Right, because now I'm starting to understand that the 4s, these given 4s are really, they're much more powerful than I first realised. Because the fours are all part of one, two, three, four strings, where is the one on this one now? Well, it's not there because of that. It could be here, and I think it is there, because if it was here, where would the one go that must exist on the yellow uh, Remban? Because the, the, this, this is getting a one from this box because it's not getting a one from here because of the one here so there is a there is a one where could the one be it's a one yeah four two three one i mean it could be over here but the point is it's definitely in box four so we can't also snaffle a one away and allocate it to orange in box four so the f the one that the orange picks up has to be here this feels like a massive, massive breakthrough. I'm not sure whether I've been a bit daft about not seeing this more quickly. I don't, I don't, I still, um, I still don't feel I've quite got it fixed in my head, but I think, I think it's true. Ah, no, okay, I suddenly thought, oh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. This has to have a two on it. Uh, I can't. I can't quite see how that works. I think this is restricted now. But I, I wanted to say it couldn't be a one, two, three ren band, but I'm not sure that's true. It's quite. It, it's quite difficult for it to be a one, two, three ren band. I think. If it was a one, two, three ren band, where does the one go? Let's ask that question because we can see the one can't go in this box. So the one has to go in one of those four positions. Now it clearly can't go here because we'd have to go through a six. It can't go in either of these because one of these would be a two. Okay, yeah. And it can't go there because if this was one, this would be two to create the one, two, three ren ban and that will break that. So this is a two, three, four ren ban. But then there's much less restriction. This is a three, two, three, four ren ban, and obviously the two is not in these positions. But the, I mean, the two could be here, and the four can go anywhere apart from here. Okay, sorry. Um, what about? What 
What about, do we know where yellow goes now? Three. If that's three, the one is in one of these positions. If this is one, this is one, the three is down here. I think, yeah, the three can't go here in the yellow rem band, can it? Because it would need a one here to connect and that will break this. So the three, the three that belongs to yellow is in this box as well. And by Sudoku and a bit of Philomeno regioning, it's not in those six cells. So it is in one of those two cells. One of those is a three, which means there's a three over here. And the one, if this is three, the one is in one of those two. If, th if this is three, the one must be here. So maybe the one is always in one of these two. I'm not sure I trust that deduction. I think it's right though, isn't it? If the three is in one of these and the one has to connect, what you can't do is go four, two, three, one, because that's not orthogonally connected. Okay, well, if that's right, there's a one down here, which does nothing. Okay, I think, I think I'm getting stuck. I feel, I feel fearful that I'm getting stuck here. Three, ah, I've got a one, two, three triple in this box now. So this digit, I must know that digit, that is a six by Sudoku. Ha ha, Sudoku, of course, is what I've been neglecting. Right, five, eight, nine into these squares. One of these is a five. We know the five has to join up with a nine, probably up here. Um, we know that five. Ah, oh, that's beautiful, for goodness sake. Right, that five not only has to join up with nine, but it has to get a seven from somewhere. It can't get that seven, because it will have to, the, the five, we, we the given, in fact, given fives, I'm suddenly realizing are massively forced, aren't they? All the given fives in the grid are on five, six, seven, eight, nine rem bands, QED. They have to be because every nine needs to have a five on its rem band. So if you have a five length rem band, it has to get to nine. So this is part of a five, six, seven, eight, nine rem band. Well, it's not got a four on it then. It can't take a one, two or a three. So it has to come this way. So that square is not allowed to be a four and you get a four in the corner. Um, these two squares, this one and that one are all part of that five because they are the only squares Ah, uh, yeah, well, yeah, because we need a seven. We need a seven. It's got to be here. So this is part of a different thing, although it can join up with this. Right, that's that feels that feels fascinating as well. I know, I know. Never talk to me at a party. Now, is this four then part of a one, two, three, four quadruple? Almost certainly, yes. Um, It's, I suppose it's not a given four, though, so we don't know. No, actually, I'm wrong. I'm wrong about that. It, well, I'm, I'm right it's not a given four. If it was a given four, we knew it would be a one, two, three, four, Remban. But it's not given, so it could be... I mean, nine, eight, seven, six, five, and then that joins up like that. What's wrong with that? Oh, well, it wouldn't work because it would have two fives in the column. But in theory, that doesn't have to be a one, two, three, four Remban. Just because this is a one, two, three, four Remban, this is a one, two, three, four Remban, and this, when we eventually build this, is a one, two, three, four Remban. Oh, just notice Sudoku. One and two go here. Oh, goodness. Right now, look, 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 Sudoku, Sudoku. Wherefore art thou, Sudoku? Um, one, three pair here. One, 
What's that doing? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> uh, two. Two is in one of. No, okay. Let's, let's look at two. I've suddenly realised. Two in this box. Two and four in this box are in those squares. That's not four. So two in this box is in one of those two positions. Now, does that have to be? No, it does. Oh, yes. Ah, right. Hang on. Remember we worked out this was a two, three, four Ramban. Well, I can see now that the two that this collects is not that two, because then this would have to be a four, and that would break the fact there's a four down here in box eight. So, So I want to say now that this is a four, but that might not be right. Let me think about that. This is certainly its own Ren band. Let's fill it in. Now, this cannot be a four. We cannot get a two from over here. It's a length three Ren band. So yes, I mean, we can't go four, two because of this two. But we do need, so the two we're getting is one of these two twos. And however, whichever one of these we connect to, because we can't take this square, we always take that square with a four. And one of these becomes a two. So if that was a two, this would be, this would have to come up here to be part of a consecutive sequence. And then it would bump into a five, which we know must then connect to a nine. But this is part of a six sequence, so that would have to have a four in it. Oh, this is getting no, this is getting very complicated. <laughs> There's a four down here by Sudoku. There's a If this is a two, if this is the purple two, what I'm wondering is this, this six Renban here, we know that the six Renban, because we're slicing a consecutive sequence, we are definitely picking up a five on this Renban, and we know all fives are connected to nines. So we know that this Renban is going to be exactly equal to nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. And then I've got to put a four on this Renban. Let me use a different color, let's use green. Where are we getting that four from within six digits? There's nowhere, I can't get there. One, two, and it also I'd have to go through one, two, or three. I can't get here even. That's more than six cells. One, two, three, that's seven cells. So there's nowhere to get a four. So this is not, this is not purple. Well, yeah, this is not purple. It's not the two we're looking for. This is the droid we're looking for right here. This is a two. That completes this, this shape. Now this square, I still have a feeling it's got to pick up one of these as it's four. Although, no, no, that can't be a four. but it only needs five to get to here. So it could be either of them. I think it is, one of these is green. Six is in one of those squares. Seven in this column has to be in one of those, those squares. That's just Sudoku. Seven, no, nearly. I thought I was going to be able to get a seven in the grid. Uh, no. What about, okay, let's work on these squares. These are six, eight, nine. So, sorry, I'm, I'm just trying to work out what on earth is going on and failing miserably. Um, two is in one of those squares, look. Uh, 
OK, so can't I pull this trick again on this digit? How can that digit not be green? If that digit's something else, then for this region to collect a 4, it can't get there. So that's got to be green. I suspect that has to be green as well. And that's going to be interesting for the 2 and the 3. Because if this wasn't green, again, we'd have to ring round. Uh, no, it's too many. It's too many cells. So that's green. But we know that the 2 and the 3 are not part of the Renban that belongs to this 6 because it's only going down to 4. So this has become a 2-3 pair now. And that's beautiful because it means I can do that. This, this Renban, which means, well, this Renban has to come down to here. It's because it needs to pick up one of these. So I've got four cells now of this Renban completed. So, but, but we know it has to take a fifth cell at least here. So how could that be green? Because if that's green... That's now, that is how a green would look exactly like this. It would be a hexomino that looks like this. And this square would be isolated and, and it's not a one. So that square is not green. This is a new color, which we will, we will define as gray. I've not used gray. So this, this is a big number. And therefore we know it's part of a sequence that involves nine and five. So that means it must go there. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, bobbins. <laughs> uh, uh, okay. You see, it's at moments like this. I, I, oh, hang on. That might not be green. We don't know whether green does this. Um, it's at moments like this that I I have a feeling I'm meant to know something about this grey domino. One of these is a fun... Yeah, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, yes. Okay, brain finally clicks into gear. One of these is a five. And whichever one it is, it has to join to a nine. And therefore it has to also have six, seven and eight on it. So how does it... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. No, it, c it can't get through this wall. If it takes those three, it can't get through here without repeating a digit. So I think it has to take that digit. I think maybe it's part of this seven, but I'm not, I'm not totally sure it's not part of this nine. And then this seven, but then this seven would be trapped, wouldn't it? Yes, I see. This seven, yeah, oh, this is, all right, I'm so slow, I'm so slow. The seven has a five on its Renban, and therefore it has a nine on its Renban. And therefore the, the seven, this seven is part of a nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three sequence. So it doesn't have one or two on its Renban. Um, uh, Sorry, I feel like that's doing something to this sequence. Well, it, c it clearly can't take all of those. And it can't take both of these because it can't have two on it. But it could have three on it. Oh, I just, um, I'm, um, I think I'm just being really a bit dense here. I'm sorry. I'm just not confident that this is, this is, I think this is grey. I think. Although, am I? I'm now not so sure I am. I'm not sure I do think this is grey. If it's grey, it's got to have three, but no two. If it's not grey, it's got to have I've got to get a nine onto it. I think if I knew what that was, if I could convince myself that this, if the, for example, if that was green, I 
Oh, I don't know. No. I, ah, I'm staring at this over and over again. I'm just not I'm not quite able in my own mind to be confident about that I know how it moves. Okay, let's try something else. We could try five. I've suddenly seen is not there anymore. So five is down here. And fives we know are sort of important, aren't we? Because any five, one, two. Oh, I tell you what I might do here. I might count up how many, because I've got to have nine regions or nine ren bands that have fives and nines on them. So we've got one, two, this one does because that's got that's got high digits on it so that must be another one that's another one I've got four uh, but this this one of these could join up to here four five six seven eight so we've got eight so far so there's only one we haven't found and if if, if this gray doesn't join up here that would be all nine found This digit, maybe I may. Oh, hang on. Yeah, maybe it's Sudoku. Five, five, seven, eight, nine into these squares. Let's just have a look at that. Five, seven, eight, nine. Because the, this one can. Well, neither of these can be seven. Five, eight, nine, triple here. Five, seven, eight, nine here. No, sorry, I'm not. I'm still not seeing it, am I? What about? All right, let's have a look at this four. We know that four has to contain. Well, that four has to contain one, two, and three. And I'm now seeing it doesn't come right because none of those squares, this square here, simply cannot be. In fact, none of these squares can be one, two, three, four because of the quadruple. So this one, two, this the one, two, and the three that this four picks up. Ooh. Ah, yeah, okay. I should have looked at this before. There's stuff going on with this, I think. Because in this box here, in oh, hang on, let's just let's go back to colours. In this box, one, two, three, and four are yellow. So this has to get one, two, three, and four from box seven. That's the only place it can get it. So this one that's down here is the same color as this so let's let's do some coloring let's make this purple one of these oh where's the two then two is in one of those squares so that two belongs to purple where's three three ah. let's think three oh i don't know well or do I? Can I? Is there something clever we can do with where three goes here? I mean, three can't be here, obviously, because it could never join this. Oh, right. OK. Um, so I'm just going to pencil mark three into all of these squares, which I think are its options. But three is not there, because if this is three, this would have to be the one. Because we need to, we need a, a, a tetromino of orthogonally connected digits. The only one we could connect if this is three that collects a one in this box as well is is this one, and that's going to break that cell. So that's not three. So three three is now in one of three places. If that's three, do I have to? Yes, yes, it's the same logic. If this is three, then how do I get the one? into the if this is three that's the two and the only place i can get the one from is here and that's going to break this this is going to be a three one pair again so this is not three which means three is in row seven which means this is a one that's a one that's a three and don't tell me it does nothing might give us an opportunity for a three in the corner down here um Oh, that's really rotten. If that does nothing, it's going to be absolutely rotten. Yeah. <laughs> oh, 
come on. Okay, well, that can't be the one now, can it? Because this can't be two or three, so this couldn't connect. Okay, so it does It does do something. This is the one. So one is over here. This is purple. Oh, I see. I see. Look, um, I think what we can do here... Or can we? Hang on, I might be wrong. If that's three, this is two, and that's going to be a tetromino. How do we complete? Uh, let me show you. If that's a tetromino, how do you complete this tetromino now? Because you can't take these two digits, and one of these is necessary to take because we need a three to connect to yellow, so that doesn't work. So that's not the three which means this is the three, which means this is the two, and that completes the tetromino that we were looking for in box. Uh, this is huge. This is huge now because seven I'm suddenly seeing is over here, which means, oh no, it's not huge. Doesn't do anything. I thought I was going to do some Sudoku. Um, this now can't be yellow because if it was yellow, it would touch a region of the same size and that completes yellow in box four so suddenly we're away again we've got a little bit more traction which means that okay i, I think we must have to do Boku to Sudoku now six. Where does six go in box seven? So this is a seven eight nine triple. That's not seven. We know right. We know that all high digits have to join up with fives. So this digit I mean it has to, it just has to join up with all of these, doesn't it? That's that's all it can do. And if oh I see. Now in fact, look, this is a size five region as well. So that digit, well, the nine is in one of those and cannot be isolated. You can't, we can't isolate sevens and eights. They're all part of sequences involving five. So all of those are definitely in the same region. And then the five tells us the size of that region. So we can simply just finish that. That's just done, um, which is sort of weird, but I think true. Right, okay, so now I can get rid of six from here. Um, I can see why not that many people have solved this. This is, it really is a head wrecker, for me at least. I'm sure, I'm sure many people watching are like, why is he being so slow? But it, it's strange. It just feels like a strange rule set. These squares are all massive as well, aren't they now? They're five, six, seven, eight, nine. So is that a, is that, does that have to be? I don't know. Well, this square is this square is clearly a big number, so it is part of a sequence that's at least five large. So it must those three. I'm confident to say are the same. Um, but what I'm not sure about is now I can do this right. So let's imagine we try and make this different to this grey. If that's different, we can see this is a massive digit as well. So this has to be in a sequence um, that's that's got a five and a nine in it. In other words, it's at least a five cell sequence and it would have to come out to there. And that makes gray only be able to be four large, which won't work. So this is gray. This is gray. Gray is now at least five. In fact, it is five because we can't take these digits because it's got five, six, seven, eight, nine in it. And those two are selectable from five, seven, eight, nine. So that's that's finished. And that's another. Ah, ah. Now, hang on. Hang on a moment before we go much further. Um, in fact, they're not five. I'm suddenly seeing. So I've got so six is now. Not in those, oh, which it never was because of Sudoku, of course. Um, hang on. This region, I didn't count in my big regions count, did I? So now let's count all the big regions. One, two, three, four, five. 
Well, I'm up to five. I'm just going to leave grey alone for a moment. Five, because I've got that six, seven, eight, nine, isn't it? So that's all of them. Which means grey, this grey, unsurprisingly, is joining up to that or that for sure. Uh, which one? I mean, if it joined up with the nine, it, it, this square would have to be green. Because, because obviously these couldn't be nine then. So they would be five, six, eight. This would be a nine and would join to green. And green would have to negate a four in it exactly there. That looks quite promising, doesn't it? A nine size region, two, three, that would be seven of its nine cells. Well, not sure. Um, okay, but we can, maybe what we have to do here is to think about because we know exactly what the Ren bands are that that um that all those four digits are part of don't we the five is part of a five six seven eight nine the seven is part of a nine eight seven six five four three the nine is part of ever it's got everything in it and the, the other seven is the same as the first seven we mentioned um oh simon look it's sudoku again what's that digit that's not five, six, seven, and it's not one, two, three, four. So that's eight or nine. And now I've got an eight, nine pair in the bottom row, which means these squares are all the low digits, which means this is not one or three. So that's become two or four. This is it's not four. One, two, three, triple in column. One, two, three, triple in column nine now. So these squares are six, eight, nine, I want to say by Sudoku. And no doubt we can do some Sudoku. That's not nine. Okay, sorry. No, that didn't go as far as I hoped it would. That's not nine. Ah, the seven. The seven's not allowed to have two on it, is it? So it would be lovely if this had to go there, because that would tell us this was a 4. But that 8, 9 has got to get picked up. Yeah, this is an 8 or a 9, so we know that's on a Remban that's got a 5 on it. Oh, this could be that one, actually. I was just trying to see how that was going to work. What? Oh, I'm getting confused now. I'm getting confused now. I've got a seven here that can't join to that. I want to say it has to join to this, but that might not be accurate. Let me just mull that over for a moment. I've got seven. Seven is part of a sequence that includes, definitely has to have a nine on it. It's, defi it's definitely part, well, the, yeah, okay. Okay, well, yes, no, it's obvious actually now. now right, this, this, this seven is one of these big sequences and therefore it must connect to one of those four digits, mustn't it? Because everything else we've connected it to. In the sense that we've got, let me just double check. One, two, three, four. That's five sequences that it's definitely not party to. I presume actually it can't get, well, could it loop round there? That's a horrible thought. No, that's a size six. It can't pick up this. It's too short. Yeah, so this has to get to one of these. 
but it, it but it can't get to the sevens because it's already got a seven in it so it's got to get to that so well i think these two we can treat as a unit because whichever one of these is the seven the, if that was the seven that digits can't be an isolated cell in a philomeno so these two are the same and they are the same as that and we will make those red then and therefore these are not nine of course because nine would then repeat Uh, and that's going to be important why then so ah, uh, but this nine could have a one in it of course because this needs to have every digit so that digit's probably in this you know it's probably do we know what that is yeah we do that's red as well if, if that that's a high digit i.e. It's, it's from the 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 quintuple of, of, of high digits we're always worried about in the puzzle. Now if that digit joined there and made a region somehow, I couldn't connect red to this. And this, well, there's no other region it can get to. Can't get to a size 5 region. That's way more than 7. So this is red. Therefore that's not 9. So we've now got 5, 7, 8 here. That's 9. So this is not nine. Oh, look, no, better, better, better. That's eight, that's nine, that's five now. So that's not five. So if this was green, it would be eight now. Oh, no, hang on, it is nine. It is nine, so it's not green. Ha <laughs> ha, that's, that's not what I was expecting to happen. So hang on, hang on, hang on. So now we've got... So, and we, oh, remember as well, we've got to join this up, this grey, ah, I've got to join the grey up to either that, that, or that. I've got to. And it can't join to this now because this is going off on its merry way over here. And indeed, it's, there would have two nines in the region. So that is now that one. So this, this region, we know, we know it needs to have a four on it. Oh, no. Ah, no, I see. Right. It needs to have a four on it. Well, that's that four now, because it can't be this four, because we know that four gets allocated to green. So that's grey, therefore that completes the Rembrandt, which we're only allowed to have seven cells on. That's got to be a three by dint of logic, therefore this becomes a one-two isolated pair, but that's fine, because it's got two in it, and therefore it is of the correct size. Now we can delineate this like that. This gets delineated. Um, ah, but now we don't quite know what green does, do we? At least I don't think I know that. I probably do know it somehow, but I, I can't see how to do it very cleverly. Um, uh, <laughs> Come on, Simon we could why are these two different why is that necessary um i've literally not thought about that at all i've no idea why i would think about that this has got to have seven and eight on it somewhere which could be here probably it's got to have seven eight five four Oh, maybe it's Sudoku. Of course, that's what it's going to be, isn't it? Let's just see if we can do some Sudoku that will help me. But yeah, that square's a naked single, apparently. Eight. So eight comes out of lots of things. That becomes five, seven, nine. So that's got to be six now. So this is not six. This square is five or seven. Ah, oh, it doesn't resolve it. That's so annoying. That's now nine. This is now a five. That's an eight. Okay, let's just have a look at what that's done to the world. Five, seven, nine. Five. 
this is 578 and we know it's connecting to this so this region needs a 6 as well as everything else that square is not part of red is it because 8 and 9 have already gone in red so that square which is high can't reach that because it's more than five cells so these two are in the same region which we will make blue now does that mean that has to join with that or not if if that's not blue well that's interesting actually I don't think that's going to work. I'm not certain about this, but let's just think. If that's, say, another colour, green, it can't be a one-cell region. It's not got a one in it yet. So it's got to grow to there. So this would be the minimum size of the green region. And now the only way of connecting blue up is going to be like that. That's going to cut off red, and it's going to put one into this region this Rembrandt with the seven and we know the seven doesn't have one or two in it so actually that square is blue and therefore that's not two which is the point I was thinking about earlier because seven we know has doesn't have two on its Rembrandt so that's four which means these square or those two squares we've still got a very good chance for three in the corner well one in three now oh no zero chance Bob, bobbins sorry i didn't see this look we can unwind all of this um botheration uh okay what does that do i'm sure this does something very important just have to work out what it is i think I was about to say, no, this needs to get a five. And it, okay, no, it does need a five. Well, which five is it going to get? This blue needs a five. If it got a five from here, then however we connect this up, red can never get out. And it can't get that five, because that five is definitely part of a different region to the seven. And I don't... No, it can't get a five from this box, can it? Because even if it could reach it, it would cut red off. So I think that this is the five it's got to get, which means that's a six, which probably means these two are both blue. Well, that, that's certainly blue. The six we know is part of a sequence that has to connect to something, so we can't cut blue off. So that that was all forced. We need to put, so red now drops down here, look. Uh, where I don't know if I know what it is. I probably do somehow. Okay, hmm, <laughs> uh, uh, maybe it's Sudoku, is it Sudoku? 258 into these squares. Yeah, I see, it is Sudoku, isn't it? Because because now, if we look at this, this triple here, this becoming red means it can't repeat the 5 and the 8 there, so that is 2, and now actually this can't be red, because it would... Oh, in fact, that is 8 by Sudoku as well. So that's 5. This is a 7-8 pair. So that's a 9. This is an 8. This is a 7. This is a 9. Good grief. I mean, imagine trying to set this. Imagine. Right. We know that 8 is not part of red. So 8's got to... Oh, it's not. It can't be part of red twice, at least. So we've got to come here. Um, this needs an 8. now well it can't get the eight from here because it can't maybe that's what this green line's doing it's stopping us doing that to get an eight because i, th I think this has to be the eight that's blue now and we still need a three though in in blue but we seem to have two choices for it which is slightly perplexing Uh, this square is a 6 or an 8. Oh, okay, so if that was red, that would be cool, wouldn't it? Because 
because we would know it was six because it couldn't be eight. Okay, and what do we have to put into these squares? Four and seven. Oh, four and seven, is that useful? I've got a six, eight pair in this column now for what that's worth. I don't know. I'm not sure. <laughs> um, and that these digits are too high to not be part of things as well. Oh gosh, have I made a mistake? Oh no, they could be part of the five, of course. Yeah, that's how that's going to work. This five, remember, needs a nine. Where's it getting its nine from? It's got to be it's got to be one of these two squares. So this five has to has to join up. It has to take those squares at least. It might take more. Uh, let's use orange for this. But that five has to pick up one of these squares as it's nine. So it must come up here. And we know exactly it's got to have a oh hang on, it's got to have seven. Ah, Right, got it. This is really difficult. It's very, it's fascinating, but it's not simple. So what I'm now saying is that green has to get a seven. Now, where does green get a seven from? It's only got two more cells to go, but it, so it, it can't get a seven anywhere else but box six. So the seven in box six is hypothecated towards green, which means any seven for orange must be garnered from box nine, which means that we have to pick up one of these digits as the seven, but we can't pick up both because there's no four in the five rem band because we know the five rem band is five, six, seven, eight, nine. So that is seven, that is four, that is orange. And orange finishes there. So orange is doing something like this. We need six. I mean, it's got to be these squares, I think, for orange, but I don't quite dare put it in. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's say that. How, how is this? Yeah, how is this not red now? It must be red because otherwise red can't connect. So that is red and we know its number because it's not eight. Good grief. So that's six. That's eight. That's nine. That's six. Which means this is six. This is eight. So eight is in one of those, and eight's probably going to have to be green here, but we'll think about that in a second or two. The three here gives me a three and a two. It gives me a two and a one, which gives me a, oh, I wasn't expecting that either. That's weird. So I get a one here and a four here and an eight here, and this square's five or seven now. But we know that the green, the green six needs a four, which must be this. And it doesn't need a one. So it get, it picks up its eight and finishes itself as a result of that. And now orange needs a six, which it must get here. Wow. This, oh, look, we get left behind this region. And I was thinking, no, that's broken, but it's not broken because it has a two in it. The one has a one in it and is a, is a region. Um, let's make that gray and we can, uh, we can hive it off. Now, what have we not had in red? We've not had three and four, have we? Ah, ah, so that's another reason that this green, I think, is, is hyphened off because so it's forcing us to take those two squares for red. So red is now finished. Let's delineate that one. Uh, oh, okay. No, blue is not finished, but it is now because I've just realized that blue needs a three and it gets it from there. And the one, two region in the bottom is fine because it has a two in it. So all we've got to do now is a bit of Sudoku, I think. And it looks like that's going to work. Eight, seven, seven, five. That square's a nine, this square's a five, and that square's a seven. My goodness me. And this might be correct. Let me just see if I've delineated everything properly. That's something that does concern me. I'll get hauled over the coals if I've missed a, if I've missed an edge.
Right, let's see what happens when we press tick. You solve the puzzle. The solution is correct. 15 people have solved it in 11 days. That's not that many, and I'm not surprised. That is a wonderful puzzle. It is very, very interesting. And I, yeah, I really liked it. I really liked it. It's, it plays with your brain. But I think once you, well, I'm not even going to claim I really got to grips with this, but I could see that it was hard to put nines on Ren bands because they needed to contain, um, you know, the Ren band that you put, put them on had to contain the Philomeno size and therefore we had to go down to at least five. And that was the crucial idea, I think. Um, and I mean, it's it's fascinating. What a fascinating puzzle from SSG. It's a long video. I'm sorry for that. Um, I couldn't do it any faster. <laughs> I wasn't clever enough. <laughs> do let me know in the comments how you got on. I enjoy the comments, especially when I kind of... I'm just having a look at my emails on the left of my screen to see whether Alex has let me know what his sister's name is. But Alex hasn't. So I can't tell you. <laughs> anyway, thank you very much for watching. We'll be back later with another edition of Cracking the Cryptic. Bye for now.